This is From the South, my name is Regan Devines. Here in Caracas, the Defense Ministry has responded to the open threat made by US President Donald Trump over the idea that a military invasion in Venezuela could be possible as a means of toppling the Nicolas Maduro-led government. Defense Minister Vladimir Padrino spoke out on Monday. He warned that the United States wants to steal Venezuela's oil reserves and could destabilize the region were it to carry out on its threat. He added that the Bolivarian National Armed Forces will not make comparisons of the combat power of the two countries, but by appealing to the national spirit to defend Venezuela. No admitimos, señores imperialistas del gobierno de los Estados Unidos, nos parece una actitud delirante, una actitud amenazante, una actitud loca, amenazar a Venezuela por la vía de las armas, porque sencillamente no se han podido consumar todas las otras fases previas. And on the topic of Venezuela, U.S. Vice President Mike Pence landed in Argentina this week. He's expected to continue attempting to ramp up support within the region to justify possible future actions against Venezuela. Pence is also expected to meet with right-wing President Mauricio Macri to strengthen bilateral ties. The Vice President has not publicly supported President Trump on his incendiary remarks of military invasion, instead saying that political discourse must run its course to allow for peace in Venezuela. Meanwhile, however, the United States has been supporting violent opposition protesters in Venezuela. What you see here is video footage of hammerhead sharks and endangered fish seized near the Galapagos Islands off the coast of Ecuador. The Galapagos National Park said some 300 metric tons of sharks, fixed fish, fish and other slaughtered sea life were seized from a Chinese flagged vessel. Park officials said they were investigating where the sea life came from and where it was being taken. 20 people were on board the ship. They could face up to three years in prison if found guilty of environmental crimes. Dozens of houses were covered in mud after a mountain slide collapsed in the Sierra Leone town of Regent on Monday. It's one of the deadliest natural disasters in Africa in recent years. Rescue workers have recovered 270 bodies so far and the search continues to locate missing neighbors. Protesters have demanded an apology from the Japanese government over the quote, comfort women issue in Taipei. Comfort women refers to the rape of some 22. Comfort women refers to the rape of some 200,000 women who were coerced into working in Japanese military brothels during World War II. The protest came one day after the International Comfort Women Day, which is recognized every year on August 14th. Japan has previously issued an apology to South Korea over the issue, but has made no moves to give Taiwan the same treatment. People from China, Japan and other countries gathered at a peace rally in Nanjing, located in East China. The rally commemorated the victory of China's war on resistance against Japanese aggression. Representatives from various countries, land representatives from various countries laid wreaths as tribute to victims of the Nanjing massacre. Residents of the Gaza Strip have been struggling to find alternative ways to keep their houses cool while continuing everyday chores during the region's hot summer months. The residents are suffering amid a, an electricity crisis that has significantly cut down power supply to the coastal enclave. Gaza needs at least 450 megawatts of electricity a day, but is now receiving 120 megawatts. And finally, Cristiano Ronaldo was given a five-match ban for pushing a referee in Sunday's Spanish Cup uh, Super Cup first leg. Madrid appealed the suspension and the RFEF committee are set to respond on Wednesday morning. This means that Ronaldo could feature in the second leg on Wednesday at the Bernabeu. There is more on these and other stories on our website, telesurtv.net slash English for Telesur English. I'm Regan Devines.